Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. What a wonderful So today's video, if you can't tell by the setup behind me, is going to be my Bath & Body Works candle collection for 2024 after semi-annual sale. I do, of course, have other brands of candles that I'm going to show you guys, but majority of what I do collect is Bath & Body Works candles. So I'm going to show you guys my collection as it is right now. I did just do a haul last week, which I will link up above if you haven't seen it of some candles from Bath & Body Works semi-annual sale. So I did just add a couple candles to my collection. I'll tell you guys which ones when we get there. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started on my Bath & Body Works 2024 candle collection. Alrighty, so here is everything laid out on the bed. And for reference right now, I do have 28 candles. And when I started out the year, I had 31. So I have gone down in three candles, but I did also, like I said, just purchase some for uh from semi-annual sales so i think i purchased three right these two wait no these two single wicks and this three wick so i've kind of laid it out by summer candles at the bottom um kind of year round candles these are just white barn or um body care candles and then i have all of my fall candles right here I only have two Christmas candles and then my single wicks are up there. So let's get started on the summer candles that I'm currently using. So the one that's actually been going in my bedroom lately is Santorini Coast. This is one of my favorites. I bought, um, I think two backups of it last year because I loved it so much. So this one's one of my favorite that came out last year and I love it. And then if you can't tell, another one of my summer favorites is Mahogany Coconut. I have two of them. I got these two in like April, I think, when I was just really craving something coconutty. So we've got Mahogany Coconut from White Barn. And I am actually using both of these. One of these is upstairs in my bedroom and one of them is in my living room. And I really love this scent for summer. And then I've got this really cute watercolor kind of collection from a few years ago, Red, White, and Blue Cake, which I've had this for a few years, let's see, from 2022. I really need to get through it this year, so this will probably be in my candle project, Use It Up. And then I also have Buttery Popcorn, which was just like a really weird scent, but I think it's fun. I just really don't get a lot of use out of it because it's kind of a novelty. And then we have Sugar Lemonade and Blueberry Sugar. Now this is from last year's semi-annual sale from the Blends collection, as you can see. And it's just like a really nice um, citrusy berry scent. It's super simple, but I like it. I think it's really nice and fresh. And then I have Pistachio and Toasted Vanilla. Now don't hate me, okay? I know that this is packaging from winter of 2023, but I am burning this right now in my office. And I just think it's like the perfect really simple vanilla pistachio scent for spring into summer. So I don't really care that it's supposed to be a winter scent. I'm just burning it right now. It's just like a really nice relaxing scent to me. And then we have one of my newest candles, the Blends Collection in the Stars plus Honeycrisp Apple. Now this one for me is probably going to end up being a transition into fall candle. So I'll save this for like August, but it smells wonderful. It's Honeycrisp Apple, Sandalwood Musk, Starflower, and Apple Blossom. And I put it underneath champagne apple and honey because i was comparing it to this one whenever i hauled the two or whenever i hauled this and they are not the same so just letting you know they are definitely not the same the in the stars is much more um vibrant in this than any sort of like body care note in the champagne apple and honey so they definitely are different this is a much lighter more body care kind of scent than this one so just so you guys know and then i have blueberry marshmallow bar one of my favorites i'm almost done with this one this is from 2022 again and it's just like a blueberry vanilla scent super simple now we've got my white barn core collection i have strawberry pound cake mahogany teakwood and paris cafe which i'm saving this one for the fall and then i went ahead and included cinnamon spice vanilla because this is a white barn core collection candle but i just have it in the fall white barn packaging but i really could burn this year round but i'm saving it for the fall and then my only body care candle that is left from i think i bought three or four body care candles at um december of 2023 during the winter sas this is the only one left. I really like it. it. It is, however, super strong and really powdery. So I kind of can't burn it all the time. It's like a specialty candle, but I do like it and it is super strong. And for my fall candles, I do have six, seven, eight fall candles. I have two from Goose Creek and one from Homeworks over there too. So let's go through the Bath & Body Works ones first. 
We have champagne, apple, and honey. This one will always be a repurchase for me. It is so yummy. I think it is the perfect transition into fall. I just love having an apple scent because it's pretty hot where I am still for the fall. So I like having an apple scent for those hot days. I feel like it's still a little bit better and easier for me to use than pumpkin. I have a pumpkin peanut brittle that I hoarded from 2022. I bought like four of these when it came back out in 2022. Oh, this is seriously such an amazing scent and I'm gonna be super sad to finish it this year. And then I have a pumpkin pecan waffles and this really cute paisley packaging from last year. One of my favorites, I have to burn these every single fall. Same with white pumpkin and harvest gathering. These are like my November, you know, going into Thanksgiving scents because they are honestly very, very, very heavy on the pumpkin and the clove and all of that. So they're super strong and I can only really stand them once it is a little bit colder outside. So these are like my November candles. And then I have these two from Goose Creek. I have Hocus Pocus 2 Halloween Night. Now this one came out, I wanna say in 2022 and it is a candy corn scent. It's supposed to be like marshmallow and vanilla. It's really yummy, marshmallow, caramel, vanilla. It's yummy. I just haven't really gotten around to finishing it because I don't wanna be rid of this packaging. I think it's so cute. <laughs> And then I also have a cherry cobbler, which I think could be a summer scent, but I'm saving it for the fall just because it also is a very, very strong, super cloying, super sweet scent, which I can really only use in the fall. So that's this one. And then from Homeworks, I have hot cider donut. Now I've gone through two or maybe three of these in the time since I've discovered Homeworks. This scent is so amazing. It burns so well. I definitely recommend if you want to try a Homeworks candle, try this one. It's so wonderful. It is harvest apple, cinnamon sugar, vanilla bean, and spice cider. Like this will really put you in the fall mood. Burning this while watching like Gilmore Girls and decorating. This is just like the pinnacle of fall. So I totally recommend it. They sell it at Ulta and I'm pretty sure you could probably find it at Homeworks too. Not Homeworks, <laughs> Home Goods too on like a discount. So, and then for my winter candles, you guys, I only have two left. I am so proud of myself. So that way I can actually purchase new Christmas candles this year. I'm so excited. So we've got peppermint hot chocolate right here. I love having this one every single year. This is from 2021. So I have been hoarding this one. I definitely need to use it this year, but it's one of my favorites. It's super strong. It's really pretty. And then I have Goose Creek's gingerbread donut. Honestly, not my favorite scent. This one again, I feel like Goose Creek's bakery scents are just crazy cloying. And this one has so much like ginger spice in it that it's a little hard to stomach. I could not use it in my apartment last year um, just because everything in my apartment was super mega strong. It was almost headache inducing. So I'm excited to have this in my house this year. I, I live in a three-story townhome, so I think this would be perfect to fill that whole space and I won't get a headache. So happy about that. And then the last thing that I have here are my single wicks. Now the first one I'm gonna show you is actually from Canada. This is a maple syrup candle and let's see if the brand is on here. Eco Culture Seracon. I picked this up in Whistler, Canada and yeah, it's just a maple syrup candle. It's a single wick. I've burned it once, I think. It's really cute. Honestly, I just wanted something to have a novelty to remember my trip by, but that is this candle. Next is Cozy Linen from Bath & Body Works. This one is just a super simple, really fresh scent. Lily of the Valley Petals, Sweet Orange Cotton Musks. So I am about, mm, not really halfway yet, but I've been burning this one in my office just on and off. And then these two I just picked up. So this is the new single wick packaging. And this is vanilla, but the notes are actually not just vanilla. I find that super interesting. The notes are rich vanilla, fresh cloves, soft sandalwood. So it's like a sandalwood vanilla scent. So I thought that would be really perfect for maybe for Ryan's office. We did kind of rearrange our spaces. So now Ryan has his own office and this packaging is just so sleek. I thought it was gorgeous. And then mahogany vanilla I've had in a single wick for a long time, like every now and then I'll buy it. It's just like the perfect single wick to have in the bathroom or in the bedroom. It's warm vanilla, bergamot, and sweet sandalwood. It's super strong, so it's perfect. Even though it's a single wick, it's honestly just as strong as a three wick. Um, and it's perfect for the bathroom just to kind of get rid of any smells, if you know what I'm saying, or to have going during like a shower or a bath. It just feels really nice and sophisticated. And you guys will have to let me know if this new candle packaging works better than this one because my candles in this packaging always tunnel no matter what I do. 
So I'm interested to see if the ones without that screw on lid will not tunnel. So you guys will have to let me know in the comments, do you have these single wicks? And if you do, do they still tunnel? Let me know. But that is everything for my candle collection. So again, my numbers right now are 28 candles. And at the beginning of the year, I was at 31. So I definitely want to get through a few more of these summer candles before we move on to fall. But I know they're already bringing out the fall preview candles. And I'm sure more will be out in July. And usually I will go around August 2nd, which is my birthday, and do a big fall candle haul because they will usually have some sort of um, like $12.95, $13.95 candle sale going on the first weekend of August. So I'm excited to get through a little bit more so I can start purchasing some fall candles. But that is all for my candle collection video. So once again, thank you so, so much for watching. Let me know down below, what is your candle collection looking like? Are you happy with the size of it? Are you trying to finish off a lot more like me before you go into fall candle buying? Let me know down below and I will talk to you all in my next video. Bye.